huge congratulations. You've just beaten the world number two, booking a quarter final place in the European Championships. 103 average, must be happy with that. Yeah, well, the average wasn't great, but uh, it was, you know, I just wanted to win, obviously, because uh, Gezi's got the best of me uh, yeah, the past couple of times. Uh, you know, I wasn't feeling right the past couple of times against him. Today I felt a little bit better, but I was, uh, I'm not relaxing with these darts. When I relax with them, they're going to be they're going to be awesome. So uh, watch this space. No, you said it yesterday that you went moved from them because they kept going in to the board at a funny angle. Are you thinking about that? Are you thinking, are they going to start going in at a funny angle? No, no, they're going straight. It's just I'm trying too slow on stage, and I, I need to I need to throw just that you know one second a little bit quicker. Uh, I'm taking my time too much. But that's only because, you know, I'm just like nervous with them and obviously playing Gezi, you, you can't make a mistake. Otherwise you get punished, you know, but uh, hopefully I'll have someone easier in the next round. But that's not going to happen, is it? <laughs> <laughs> when, when, when you were 9-3 up, what's going through your mind? Because it was quite a close game, but you were taking out all the crucial moments. Yeah, 9-3 uh, up, I was thinking, don't throw it away because I've done it in the past. Uh, and, and he's quite capable of coming back, reading off legs and legs. You know, he, he weren't playing great. Uh, but then, you know, he took that one four eight out and then started playing well and took the one two seven out. And, and then he took 80 out or something like that. And then all of a sudden, he's, you know, he's on. And I'm, I'm doing nothing wrong. I'm, I'm setting up shots and everything, not get, getting, a, getting a shot at it. So, uh, fair play to him. Uh, but it, it wasn't a cracking game, but it, it was okay. Was this the first step in catching him to get your world number two spot back as well? Because I know that you were a bit I'm too old. about losing I'm it. Too, I'm too old about worrying about rankings, you know, I'm, as long as I'm still up there. I'm 300 grand in, uh, in front of number four. So <laughs> they've got a lot of work to do, haven't they? <laughs> a little bit, yeah. Obviously going to the business end of the tournament now. If you could win this, would this put right the Premier League disappointment or not? Yeah, yeah, I suppose so. Uh, I said to Farnham on the way uh, on, on the way here, I said, you know, this uh, this will make up for, uh, you know, uh, some of the tournaments that, you know, I, I haven't picked up, like in the match play and obviously, uh, and uh, obviously as a Premier League. So, uh, you know, I'm still in, still batting, so, you know, see how it goes. Peter, congratulations, mate. Thank you very much, as always. Cheers, Paul. Thank you, mate. Hi, Peter. Um, congratulations on um, on the result. Um, some game. Um, did you need that? Did you need to make that statement? I didn't need it, no. <laughs> of course I need it. Man, stupid question. It's really weird. I'm looking at you. You're, you're just blending in with your sofa. You just look like a head. No. No, that's that's because oh, that's how big I am now. <laughs> I, I wear, if, I, if I wear black, I blend in, so I look thinner. <laughs> uh, but uh, no, listen. You, you, by your standards of what you've been setting in recent years, you've had a, a barren period of time. Really, it's nice to sort of put yourself back on the radar and say, "I'm still here. I'm still here, folks." Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, obviously, with these diamond darts that. Uh, uh, more consistent, high, big averages and stuff like that, and so that's to come. So that you know, they're just steady at the moment, and I'm looking forward to it. And you know, lots of big averages with them. Last night you said that you took a break before, because um, you needed to sort of press the reset button. Does a result and a performance like that really get your adrenaline pumping again and get get you fired up? No, depends on my sleep tonight. <laughs> if I go, well, it's going to be earlier than last night, so it should be all right. And look at these bags, you can go shopping with these. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Peter, listen, thanks for your time and uh, congratulations on a great result. Thank you. Cheers, Bill. See you tomorrow. Peter, congratulations on the win and a great community amount of challenge in the bottom half of the draw now because you've come through a really tough test at quite an early stage of the tournament. Do you feel it can kick on from here now? Yeah, of course. Uh, uh, well, the, when the draw came out, uh, I was in the tough half of the draw anyway. Uh, and uh, no disrespect to the other players up top, uh, but, you know, the, the class players who have been around for a little while, that's what I'm 
that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Do you feel like your performances of the last two nights is, is a statement to the rest of the field that you're back? I'm not back yet. Uh, I'm saying when I start hitting over 110 and stuff like that consistently, then then I then I might be happy. Okay, thanks, Peter. Well played tonight. Cheers, Jim. Peter, not many people have done that to go in price in the last sort of maybe six months. Do you see Gerwin as the as your, your biggest competitor in this tournament, and, and therefore he's out and you've, you're in, in full position? Yeah, I did. I beat him eight two in the final. Of the Summer series. Oi, can you look at look at your facts? That was a while ago now, Peter. <laughs> you said last six months. Come on. <laughs> no, uh, uh, but no, uh, Gezi didn't play well. You know, too many fifty odds, and yeah, to be honest, even when I'm not playing on top of my game, you can't hit fifty odds against any players, and because you get punished. 